Christmas came early, mother This will work. Okay, this is very exciting. Good friend of mine, Mark Rogers from Okuma Fishing Tackle, sent me a care package and I can't wait to open this up. Let's just get right to it. This thing is like hermetically sealed. I just gotta find the top. No. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think I just got myself. I think I did cut myself. All right, let's get into this. Wow. We've got Savage Gear 3D Crayfish. Uh, I'm gonna use that on the Mississippi River, no doubt. Savage Gear 3D Gobi Tubes. Yes, I see this working very, very well. Wow. How awesome is that? That is a swim bait. It's a Roach Shine Glider is the name of this. This is gonna be a killer for smallmouth. Look at that swim bait. Line through trout. Giant swim bait. I think I'm gonna try this for muskies. These are a little bit bigger crayfish right here. 3D crayfish. 3D goby tubes. More tubes. More tubes. Wow. Holy 3D glide swimmer. This thing is kick ass. Crayfish stealth glider kit. I cannot believe all the stuff in here. Look at this. 3D rat. Big rat. This is a duckling. Bass will eat that. Look at this. Another duckling. I can see a smallmouth crushing that. This right here is an eel pout imitator, or burbot. First of all, I love catching eel pout, but uh, I also love catching musky, and this is gonna catch musky. Smallmouths are gonna absolutely crush this thing. This is actually a bat. That's a 3D bluegill. Doesn't get much more realistic than that, ladies and gentlemen. Largemouth are going to eat the hell out of this. Stand up jig head for the crayfish. And what do we have here? Mark threw in, this is unbelievable. He threw in a water wolf underwater camera. This thing is incredible. You can actually see fish striking your lure with this thing. You can cast it and you control it. I'm absolutely blown away by this. Mark Rogers at Akuma Fishing Tackle, you rock. I gotta get a shower, I gotta get dressed. I can't wait to see what this stuff looks like underwater. I'm all raring to go, headed to the Mississippi River. We're gonna test out these Savage Gear baits and see what they look like underwater. This is the Water Wolf camera and I've got it rigged up. I'll show you here in a second what I'm doing, but I gotta turn it on first. There's a little button in here. We're just gonna turn it on. It's slowly blinking red now. And I'm going to, it's got a capsule basically, and we're gonna put this cap on. And it comes with a little tool that allows you to get it on there. You twist and push. It's in there, good to go. I can see that it's recording still. I can see that it's recording. The little light is flashing. That means it's recording, red light is flashing. So this is the setup here. You bring this section up and you set the water wolf in the cradle. Then you press this section back like that, this little knob, okay, and that locks it into the cradle. And then you wanna bring this back up and my main line is attached right here. And back here is my leader. We're gonna get really serious here. Look at this thing. How's that? Okay, so what this is called is a line through trout, real 3D scan. Look at this thing. Jointed, I mean, I'm telling you, it is an eight inch albino trout, okay? Let's see 
how badass this looks underwater. So this bait just swims. You just swim it along. You can kill it and just let it die, but then you just start reeling it again. This bait would work awesome here in Minnesota for muskies. It was originally designed in California for big largemouth bass in the reservoirs there, but a lot of species will eat this thing. Next up is the 3D roach. This is called, I wanna make sure I got this name right, the shine glider, and this is the slow sinking gliding version. I could see this being a killer for largemouth and also smallmouth here on the Mississippi River. I think this would work awesome. This thing looks killer. Next up is the 3D bluegill and this is the slow sink and that color is dark gill. This is going to be a great bait for largemouth. I could see smallmouth killing this thing too and it's a swim bait. This bait you want to work pretty quick to get it really wobbling. It's almost like a shallow running crankbait. Bluegill will get in these real big schools in summer and you'll see largemouth just absolutely annihilating them. This is the most amazing lure I've ever seen in my life. That is a Savage Gear 3D bat. And this is the four inch floating model here. Look at that. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a bat right there. This is a topwater lure. I can see smallmouth crushing this thing. And these wings here just make it walk. What's amazing about this water wolf camera, this compartment here, I shouldn't call it a compartment, but this little sleeve here has a weight in it that I put in, okay? If you take that weight out, this camera floats. You can use this for top water. So what I'm gonna do is there's a little tool that comes with this, if I can find it. So not only is this a, this works as a lens cap, so you could put that over to protect the lens, but there's also a tool on here, okay, that allows you to push that weight out. We're gonna make this camera float. I don't want to lose the weight. I'm just gonna put it in there. Now, I lengthen my leader. Now it's about a foot and a half, and we're gonna see what this looks like. This bait has these big flapping arms. It looks like it's swimming, like it, like a person swimming. Really unique action. There isn't another bait that looks quite like this. So I've had a lot of fun with this water wolf camera. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna stop recording, and what you do to stop recording is you basically, this, this keeps it cradled in there, this little rod here. You just pull that out, it releases, and then I take this tool the, at the nose of the camera, and I twist, and in there is an on and off switch. I'm gonna switch it to off, That'll stop recording. I can't wait to look at this footage. Mark sent me a ton of lures that I think are gonna be awesome for smallmouth. This is a 3D crayfish. This is three inches, and I love this color for a little bit off-colored water like we have right now, black and red. I'm gonna try this out as well. We're gonna do this right now. This is a 3D goby tube. These look awesome. They look exactly the head of them anyway looks exactly like a goby and smallmouth love gobies. Look at the detail on that on that tube. So what I'm going to do with this bait is I'm going to Texas rig it just like I would normally with any tube and I'm going to go right through the head of it. This is a 3 aught gamakatsu extra wide gap offset hook and then come out like that and we're going to rig this out the bottom it's going to come right out the top and what I really like about this design is that you don't have to skin hook it that dorsal fin of the goby there makes this weedless 
okay? It makes it super weedless. So I'm digging that. And then I've got it rigged on a quarter ounce uh, tungsten head and then I have it pegged. There's one. All right. All right, how big are you, bud? Oh, now he's running, huh? Okay. Nice fish. Nice fish. He's not happy. I'll put a net on you. All right, bud. Make it easy on you. All right. On the 3D Gobi tube. Not a bad fish. Thank you, bud. You know, I gotta get out of here. It's getting dark, it's starting to mist, I'm getting cold, I should have gloves on. I've had a blast with all this Savage Gear equipment, the underwater camera, so much fun. Thank you, Mark Rogers, love you, dude.